Hi, I'm Gavin. Um, so I made a video about the Canon R5C and I thought it was a follow-up, but I'd do a, um, a video about how you work with the material that it generates. The R5C um, makes 8K RAW files. Now, 8K, if anybody's dealt with red files um, and things like that, 8K RAWs, they're, they're pretty in process intensive and they're pretty, you know, they're pretty chunky. So thankfully, like the reds, um, and now I think the Black Magics have got this. You can shoot inbuilt camera proxies. So you can shoot, say, on the R5C, you can shoot your 8K RAW to the CF card, and then you can shoot your proxies, your low resolution proxies, to the SD card. And this is great uh, because it gets around two things. Fundamentally, what we used to have to do before we had inbuilt proxies and cameras, we'd bring our files back, we'd have to transcode them, which takes ages and then build the proxies and then link them up and then we could edit. But doing it in the camera is fantastic. And also it means that it's really transportable. So you can be on set, you can shoot your um, footage, you've got your proxies immediately and then you can upload them to the cloud. They can be pulled down remotely and uh, they can start to edit. So there's, you know, there's a great workflow there built into the camera. It's not just the R5C, it's in the C70 as well, and I believe the, the bigger ones, the C300s and all that. So what I thought I'd do, I thought I'd go through each um, edit package and show you how it works, because it's not quite as simple as it seems. If you're a one-man band, it's easy, because you've got the masters and the proxies all together. But if you're like in a team and you're working with a facility, you may have to deliver the proxies first, and then at a later date, come back and deliver the masters. So you'd have to start editing the proxies. Now, the way these proxies are constructed, now I think this happens with the Sony's as well. It adds extra letters, extra things like that to help designate that it's a proxy file. Now, some of the edit packages don't tally up properly when you do this. They don't like a misnamed proxy compared with the original master. Anyway, so I'll go through how you can sort of do it with Final Cut, uh, Premiere, and resolve. I'm not tu not touching Avid. Uh, it's just I don't I don't. It just gives me the chills. I started work on Avid in my, when my career, and I'm not going going bad. I'm not a fan of it. Anyway, so we'll look at each one of these. So you may be seeing this video like a couple of times because it will be the start of each one of those sort of mini videos. Anyway, so hopefully the takeaway from this is you'll be able to shoot confidently, high res masters and proxies. Go back edit with proxies on a lower spec computer, then finish and grade when you reconform with your high resolution masters, which you've also captured. Anyway, I hope it helps. Um, there you go. Okay, so this is gonna be the Premiere workflow, but I'll just show you how the files work. So I've offloaded the CF card and the SD card from the R5C and it's given me A23 and A24. Now normally the way it works is that a lower number card is the CF card, the higher number is what goes on the SD card. Anyway, so we spin these open, you can see we've got CRM and this is where your raw file is gonna sit. And here we are, real 23, and there's my raw files, kind of raw CRM. Okay, so let's have a look at the proxy file, proxy uh, folder basically, here it is. In contents, not in CRM, you get a clips folder, and inside clips, there we go. We've got the proxies, and the proxies are MXFs. They're, I think they're AVC, XAVC or something like that. And they've got this underscore P at the end of them to show that they're, uh, they're the proxies. All right, so there they are, and there's the two cards. Right, so let's launch Premiere. Here you go. And then let's do this, a pretty standard workflow. Let's import the masters and then link to the proxies. So import and when demo, here's my masters folder. Okay, and if I open that up, there's my masters and I just shot a pair of boots. Okay, so these are the high resolution files, but we wanna link them to the proxies. So how you do that, select them all, right click, you've got the pop up and it says attach proxies. Now this is really important because obviously the names don't match. However, the time codes on both of them do. You need to ensure that media start is ticked here. And then you grab this, click attach, 
and we know that everything is in A204. I don't really like fiddling around and moving the files out of their, their, their actual structure folders from the cards. I always feel it's best to leave them in there. So then we go contents, clips, click that, click search, and there it is, it's picked up the first one. So click OK. Now, as you can see with a little thing here, a little blue thing, that means it's got its proxies attached. So if I grab these, right click, new sequence from clips, here we go. So we've got all these files here, my boots. And now if I click the proxy, now you can see now, what I've done is I always shoot my RAWs, obviously they're log, but I always shoot proxies with a look lot on them because it makes this process incredibly simple. Because obviously I now like proxies, and then I know I'm looking at the, the, the masters. So that's really helpful when you know, because they're ungraded, aren't they? And they're raw files. So I absolutely know now that what I'm looking at is the master and then I click back and that's a proxy. Okay, so that's method one, which is, you know, the one man band type kind of guy. You've got access to both of the, um, both of the, the masters and the proxies from the get go. So let's try this the other way around. We bring the proxies in first and then relink. So import, let's go to the proxies folder, contents, clips, Import. Okay, ignore the rubbish that's come up there. It's just some extra files. And here are, these are the proxies. So, now this is what would normally happen, and this can be a bit tricky. I'm gonna make a sequence out of these. Um, new sequence from clips. Yeah, there they are. Now, I've got these, they've come out of the cloud. They've been given to me, and I'm working in the proxies. And now what happens is the masters turn up. So I need to relink these. So let's grab, let's grab them all right click, and then the proxy click that, there we go, reconnect to full res, full resolution media. Okay, click, same thing, media start time, attach, and now we know it's in 23, we know it's in CRM, there and there, so we'll search, it picked up that first clip, and now we click okay, watch what happens. Okay, obviously my master files are 8K. My timeline, my sequence settings, Hang on, let's get the sequence. The sequence settings are 2048 by 1080. That's because the proxies were that big. So when I made the sequence, it's sort of just, it's that size now. So what I have to do is, now this is, pro it can be problematic, can't it? Because if you've done any zooms and pushes and stuff like that on your proxy version, then that's all going to go out of kilter. So now it's set to frame size and it brings it all back. And if I toggle between the two, now everything is as it should be. But yeah, there are problems with sizing when you move between packages and you do this, but that's it. So that's how you do, you, you work with, you've got masters and proxies, how to do it, proxies only, and how you link it up. And that's basically how that works. Anyway, there you go.